in the name of almighty allah the most beneficent the most merciful this is the seventh tutorial in the android drag and drop uh, drag and drop tutorials and in this tutorial i have made uh, some changes to the layout of this um, program i have made made this uh, landscape from here and i have made it uh, full screen and the code to full screen is get uh, get window dot set flags window manager dot layout, layout params dot flag full screen window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen and get window dot add flags window manager dot layout params dot flag keep screen on and this li line of code will keep the screen on and it will not uh, allow the um, um, android operating system to turn off the system it means that the screen will remain off while the app is launched and you have to code this uh, before uh, set content view of the layout and the last thing that you have to do in the manifest file is that you have to, uh, you have to add this one android screen orientation landscape this is for the uh, orientation of the screen i have made it a landscape uh, okay so here uh, i have a linear layout with a vertical orientation and firstly i made this uh, i will make this layout so first i will have linear layout linear layout uh, match parent and wrap content and orientation orientation to be uh, horizontal because I, uh, I want uh, many buttons to be placed side by side and now um, here I put some buttons um, yeah small button put it here two three so these are the buttons um, inside of this horizontal layout but what I want to do here is that uh, so here I have one two three and four buttons and what I'm doing here is that uh, I'm adding a separate layout for each of these buttons linear layout rep, uh, rep content and rep content and orientation is to be set vertical and ID ID is to be set. Uh, this is uh, the first target, so I will say target one, and I will take this end, the end of this, <coughs> and place it after this for the first button. And the ID of this button is uh, test one, target one, test one. And I will add padding here, <coughs> padding of five dp. And similarly for the next one so rep content rep content ID of <coughs> target 2 padding of 5 dp and place it after control X and place it after this button so let me pause the video and per perform this uh, coding and so let me pause this video so here I have uh, this uh, top layout um, a linear layout for these buttons which is wrap content so I will make this uh, match parent so it will uh, take up the entire space available over here and now I want to make it uh, make these buttons to take the entire space within um, of this linear layout so for that purpose I will say that uh, layout weight is equal to 1 it's taking space but this button is not uh, taking the entire space for so for that purpose I will make this match parent so I will copy this layout weight from here cop control C and control V and in this linear layout as well control V and in this linear layout as well control V and make this match parent match parent match parent and as well as this button match parent so these are now match parent now uh, let's give uh, a background color to this uh, to this layouts background color So this is its background color so let 
so I give the background color to all of these uh, layouts which is the linear layout and inside this linear layout we have button so now I will place some uh, uh, four buttons uh, here which will be dragged into their corresponding targets so let's do this and do that as well so here again I need a linear layout which is uh, horizontal let me do this uh, one linear layout and linear layout horizontal and place it after that so I have placed it after that so here uh, we get this linear layout and inside this linear layout I need some uh, four buttons let's assign ID for this as well ID btn target this is the btn target layout for us and it's horizontal so the height is match parent let's make it wrap content and the width is match, match parent it's okay now we place four buttons in this one two three and here comes the fourth one so now uh, let's give margin from top so margin top margin top 30 dp okay 50 dp and this is btn1 and assign text 1 btn2 text 2 btn3 3 btn3 btn4 4 <coughs> excuse me so now this layout is also not taking the entire space so this is match parent the width is match parent so we assign the width to these buttons width 1 control C and paste it in each and every button so now it's taking the entire space now what will happen is that the user will drag this button and place it in the in the appropriate uh, position so let's change the text of these positions Mm, the text is also here uh, target one target two target three where did I change this okay sorry this is on my target 3 and this is my target 4 <coughs> and these buttons are in arranged form so let's cha change its arrangement it's 4 3 0. so this, these are not uh, arranged so the user will uh, drag uh, these buttons and arrange in this form target 1 target 2 target 3 and target 4 so uh, I think that's it for this tutorial uh, the design is now ready and in the next tutorial we will work on its functionality so see you in the next tutorial